Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Docker on CentOS 7. So to get started the first thing I'm going to do is update my system by typing in sudo yum update and I'll hit return. Okay so it's going to fetch off any updates that I need for my system so I'm just going to click Y here for to download and update my system. So I'll just pause the video while it's doing that. Okay, so you can see my system is updated successfully. So the next thing I'm going to run is sudo yum install. Oh, I have a typo here. Let me correct that. Install docker. So sudo yum install docker and I'll hit return. And we can see it's picked up some packages here. So I'm going to click yes. To that. I do want to install and download these. So I'll just pause the video here again while this is running. Okay, and we're back. So let's just see if Docker has installed for us now. So I'm gonna type in sudo, and I have a command on the clipboard here that I'll just paste in. So sudo system ctl start docker, and I'll hit return. Okay, so it's thinking about it here. And we can see nothing has been returned. So we might just want to check on what the status of Docker is. So I'm going to press the up arrow here and I'm going to replace start with status. Perfect. And it looks like it's running. So the last thing we want to do is just enable it. So I'm going to type in E-N-A-B-L-E. -E. Perfect. Now we have that done. Okay, let's run some basic Docker commands here and uh, get some information about our Docker installation. So I'm going to type in docker space info. I'm going to try sudo docker info. So it's important that you need to be running this as root. As you can see, you'll get funny errors like I got. So just be sure to have sudo in front of all your commands. So we're getting lots of information about our Docker instance here, which I'll let you look through at your own time. So let's see what else we can get. Let's try sudo docker version. And we can see we have some information about the version of Docker that we're running. And let's just type in sudo docker. And you can see you get a list of all the commands that you can run with docker. Okay, now that we've done that, let's uh, download a container for our Docker installation that we have here. So we're running CentOS, so let's see if we can get an Ubuntu container. So I'm going to type in sudo docker search, and let's say Ubuntu, and we'll see what comes back. So you can see there's lots and lots of Ubuntu installations here. So I'm just going to see if I can pull a basic Ubuntu. So I'm going to press the up arrow. I'm going to replace search and I'm going to put in pull, P-U-L-L. -L. And I'll just pause this here for the moment. Okay, great. We can see this is completed for us now. Now what if we want to run a command against that container that we've downloaded? So I'm going to type in here sudo docker run Ubuntu. space cat for concatenate forward slash etc forward slash issue and let's see what comes back here and you can see it's come back with our ubuntu 16.04 so we're getting information back from our container to our centos instance Okay, so that's great, but you may say I want to access my container in a more traditional way via the bash shell. You can do that through Docker as well. So to do that, we're now going to type in sudo docker run minus it for interactive Ubuntu and space bash. And I'll post all these commands in the comments below so you can just copy and paste them in. So let's give this a minute here and you can see our our prompt has changed so let's just try an ls here and if we want to rerun that command that we ran previously we can just say cat etc issue 
and we're in our Ubuntu container. So I can just type in exit here to move back to CentOS. So that's been a very whirlwind introduction to Docker and how to run Docker on CentOS 7. If you've encountered any issues on this tutorial, be sure to comment below and if I can help, I certainly will. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.